Hey there, Garrett here with DIY PBX. Welcome back. This is video six. In the next few minutes, we'll show you exactly how to set up an IVR or auto attendant on your DIY PBX. Without further ado, here's our trainer Kent with instructions. Hey, it's Kent from DIYPBX.com again. This time we're gonna talk about uh, IVR, uh, or some of you may know them as an auto attendance. Uh, auto attendance. So all we have to do to create an IVR is go to our Applications IVR tab. Now I have to tell you, uh, before I did anything, I actually went and uploaded a recording. I went to Admin, System Recordings, and I uploaded this test recording. And I can give it a descriptive name if, if I want or whatever, but when you go to Add Recording, note that if you're going to do a .wav file, uh, it has to be encoded a certain way. You can use Audacity for that. I'm not going to go over that. There's lots of videos out there uh, and little tutorials, but you can use Audacity, which is a free software, to convert uh, your audio into the correct format if you need to, or you can use another supported format. Uh, just Google uh, on the format that you want to use and see if it's compatible. But back to the IVR. So I go in, I add a new IVR, uh, and we're going to call this test IVR, because of course, what else would we do? And uh, you, if you go over the bubbles, the little help bubbles here, you can see what you need to do. You don't have to give it a description, but you can if you want to. So the announcement is going to be my test recording that I just made. So that's what people would hear when they call in. And that's where you would say, you would record your voice saying, uh, for so-and-so press 1, for so-and-so press 2, and list out your options in an audio format. Do we want them to be able to direct dial the extensions? In my case, yeah. I want people to still be able to dial the extensions directly. Otherwise, they'd be limited to just the options I'm going to put in below. How many times are we going to let them fail before we send them somewhere else? Well, we're going to give them three tries. Um, the recording they're going to get, uh, we're just going to send them back to the same recording. Or we could send it back to a default recording. Uh, invalid, do we want them to return? If they, if they put in an invalid extension or invalid option, do we want them to return to the same menu? Sure. Uh, and the recording we're going to give them is the same recording. Uh, we could send them, if, if they have an invalid extension, we could send them somewhere else. Maybe we want to send them to a receptionist extension. Uh, they're lost in the menu. They don't know what they're trying to dial. Uh, it's going to automatically send them to somebody uh, if we select that. However, I'm just going to leave that alone. And uh, what about if they time out? What if they sit there and they don't press anything? Maybe their DTMF, the tones, are not working. Maybe our system can't hear the tones. We should probably give them an option for, you know, if, if, they, don't, if they don't press something in a certain amount of time, then... Uh, we send them somewhere. So that's what the timeout destination is. What's the timeout recording? We're going to leave it as default. And uh, basically in here, we've already set the timeout to 10 seconds. That's That should be sufficient. It's going to wait uh, 10 seconds before sending them anywhere. And I do believe that's after the recording is played. However, you can play with that and see what you need to do. Uh, we would put in here our, our option for one. We might send them to, uh, let's see what we got in miscellaneous destinations. Well, we didn't create any yet. Okay, well, what do we want to do? Well, how about for one, we send them into voicemail? Uh-oh, that's not very good. And if they press zero, we send them into the test phone's actual extension. You could put pretty much anything you want in here. These are the options they would have to press. Remember, they can also dial the extension if we allow direct dial to extensions. We hit submit. I have to choose an invalid destination. So if they're invalid, we'll just send them into the voicemail, wherever you want to send them. As a certain artist would say, it's your world. You do what you want with it. And now you can see I saved, I apply and config, I now have my test IVR. And again, like with the other options, with the inbound route, remember we can create as many inbound routes as we need but for now we could then select we're going to send it to the IVR which IVR are we going to send it to we hit apply config if they dial that number they'd be prevented presented with the recording that uh, 
I set for that, and then they could put in their options. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.